Well, hello, and welcome to the Points of Interest podcast. I forgot the, my whole intro. I just had a total brain fart. Welcome to the Points of most Interest generic. podcast. It's, this is the most generic podcast on the internet. My name is Josh Ox. I am the 303 Ninja. And right over there, he is my podcasting partner for life. He is the other guy. It's Mr. Francis Fernandez. Holy crap, it's been a couple of weeks. How are you, man? How's well, apparently been? rusty. That's right. It's not like we haven't done this before, man. Come on. It's not like we haven't been doing this for 12 years or anything. Um, yeah. I, no, it's just... Uh, it's, uh, I'm feeling refreshed, Francis. Uh, it's been... What, what refreshed? month is it? Did you take a shower lately? I took a shower a little while ago, actually. Um, oh, they, no wonder you sound ref- you feel refreshed. Okay. But, you know, the last last five months, if you've been playing along... Last five months kind of been rough on on this end of the microphone, and uh, made a made a major ja- job change, a, a jib change, a job change, and uh, feeling refreshed. I'm, I'm maybe it's because I'm making adult money again, maybe, but your job should be exciting, at least occasionally. Or, or, or feel, let's not say exciting, let's say fulfilling in some way, right? Yeah. yeah. Right now, I'm feeling fulfilled at my job. Good. <laughs> which, <clears throat> ties back, which ties back to the last kind of five months of frustration. Maybe, maybe some of that frustration this comes out in the 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 actions in which and or how I escort somebody. I'm in the escorting business now, Francis. Not in the, not yeah. not not in the fun way. <laughs> you mean you deal with for packages every once in a while? If there mm. someone's trying to grab at someone at some packages that aren't, you know, theirs. And they uh, yes yes and. Once they're done grabbing things that aren't theirs, I like to grab them and ask them to give back the things that they took. Well, look, <laughs> the most important thing is that you're having a good time. I'm having enjoying, a good time. Yes. You know, you're enjoying your, your new occupation. Yeah, it, you know, are looking looking well. And it's a, and it's a it's an interesting. Does escorting mean the bounty hunting? Hey, I um, just made howdy. Does it mean bounty hunting? Uh, Are you dog? Clearly not, because I don't have flowing blonde bleached locks and balding at the same time. Nor could I stand having a beard that looked anything like that. Also, I don't look good in leather pants. Or... or- a, a, a vest? Didn't he wear like a leather? Vest? I don't know. I don't know if he wore leather pants either. But I know where they or black jeans. Not not the look for me. No. And cowboy boots. You ever tried to run in cowboy boots? It's, it's not comfy. Uh, no. no. He's really tan though. Looking at it, he's super duper tan. Yeah, again, that's that's why I couldn't do it because he, I'm he, Irish. He looks like a crumpled potato chip bag he dog the bounty hunter looks like hulk hogan's like little brother that didn't get all the good dna (laughs) good good pull i agree that's yes i agree it's like kind of like twins kind of like the movie twins but you know less danny devito more dog more dog the bounty hunter (laughs) uh but um does escorting mean bounty hunting um no but you know, in a way, sort of. But in a way, yeah. What I'm doing now, uh, uh, is there isn't necessarily a bounty on people's heads, but sometimes they have bounty on them. Ah, uh, you, you mentioned. Did you? Funny, you, you mentioned what you, you've Did you just before. see what I did there, Francis? Yes, I did. Okay, good. I'm proud of myself, clearly, because you know that was good. 
Uh, but was. yeah, I, I'm in the escorting business now, and and possibly some of that frustration of the last five months, you know, helps in the uh, escorting business. Helps, well, good. I'm helps glad to get some it, of that again, out. It's, get it out. You know. You know, it, uh, we've been in communication for the last few weeks, and and you do seem to be in, in a good place. Hello, Ginger. How's it going? Uh, you seem to be doing well, so I'm happy to to, to you know to witness the uh, 180 that you've been experiencing since your previous occupation. So I'm glad yeah. to see that that's going all right. Uh, it's it's also it's also very weird to uh, I mean on top you know you're saying 180 like going from marijuana business to the escorting business, quote unquote. Ding, ding, escorting business. Right. right, right, uh, right. It's, it's a very, it's a, an abrupt 180, I think. You know, I mean, like in, in, sure. in, in, in culture, in work culture. Well, you, 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 yeah, but you also entered into the weed business as a 180 as well from your previous job. So, I mean, That's like, you, you're doing a lot of 180s when it comes to, to work. That's true. That's true. You're not wrong there. I mean, it was, you know, it was at least part of my life. Before what? getting into it, before getting into it, so, yeah. uh, but, yeah, it, it's it's, I mean, it, it, I think it happens at any time you go to a new job and you have a good time. Hopefully, the shine doesn't wear off too fast. You know, yeah, you're in the honeymoon period of your new job, right? You know? Right, and 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 like it with honeymoons, sometimes you, you that's when you discover. How rough you could get with somebody. I don't know. <laughs> oh, geez. Anyway, moving on, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to go into too much detail. No, uh, to, but um, no, no. Uh, but um, it's just, it's weird having very confrontational interactions. Right. Again, that, you have mentioned what you've done before. Yeah, like, I have. But we, but I said I wasn't really gonna. We'll, we'll allude to it, or we're not gonna talk about it. Really, we we're talking about it without mentioning it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're essentially protecting cave babes. So trying, um, but it's exciting. So it's like the only thing going on major right now in the life. So it's you know kind of the thing that's on the top of the brain. You know, well, um, you're trying to get over the hump. You're 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 on you're you're like at the line of when things were like. This is you over here. This is when things, when you're getting paid an adult wage or whatever, and like all this stuff was going well. You're over here when you didn't have a job and you kind of work your way back up. So you're at the line where you're about to get into the good part again, and, and things are going to look shiny and brand new. And also I'm be certain. in the black. Yes, that's, that's true. It's good to be in the black. Yeah, ACDC agrees. Yeah, well, it, and I'll be back in black, hopefully soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, something I did. Yeah, see, this this kind of breaks kayfabe a bit, but not really. What? Then don't bring no, it up. No, no, no. Because no, it's interesting. It. No, it's interesting. It's very interesting because it also ties into fucking just the area. In which, well, not really the specific area you live in, but the greater metro area of where you live. Crips are still a thing in Denver. Oh yeah, you brought. The- I think we we talked last week, uh, just you and I, because my computer and internet was having not a good evening. Uh, But yeah, Crips are still a thing here. If you had asked me that 20, 25 years ago, I'd be like, yeah. But, you know, not going into the, 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 the deeper parts of Denver because I don't, my circle's not that big. I wasn't aware of this. And uh, I was made aware of it last week. And that was, I was like, really? That's really interesting. Well, the, they're like the, they're like the Yakuza, right? The Yakuza are there, but not really. They, they've kind kind of weakened a lot right. in power over the years. Because like, they don't get as many tattoos. Well, they still get a ton of tattoos. <laughs> no, I know. But, they, uh, that, yeah, but that's where they their power comes don't... from. That is true. That is true. Uh, they're not yet. Yeah, you're right. They're, they're getting tattoos, just not as. You're right. Not just just not as many. But like Crips and Bloods 
exist, but in a much smaller form. And I think it's like, yeah, because we've we've kind of moved on from that mm-hmm. stuff. You mm-hmm. know, we've kind of just as a society moved on from that stuff. Even like, you know, um, I, I've been noticing even in my own area, like gangs that were pretty dominant are falling back a little bit they're not as they're not as the, their present is presence is as, as known as it used to be where mm-hmm. the, you'd see their tags everywhere i'm like oh there's there they are mm-hmm. oh, i recognize mm-hmm. the tags oh there they are again like mm. uh, yeah, this this so. this guy just you know screamed out that he was a east side crip and i just stopped in my tracks while I was out walking he's around, he's pretty out of his element. Then, if he's in in Colorado, because that's pretty West Side. Well, it is, but like I said, twenty five years ago, if you would have asked me, are Crips here? Are they a thing? I would have said, hell yes. That's what I was saying before. Yeah. I thought yeah. they just kind of moved out of Denver, moved on, but apparently not. Um, somebody I know is married to a fucking e- a OG East Side Crip. Mm. And I was like, well, that's rather interesting. I would have never thought that, but right on. You know, good for you, I guess. So who the fuck is that? (laughs) So apparently apparently Crips are still a thing in Denver. I I had no idea. Did did he either call you S.A. or Holmes at at any point? Which is very... uh... No, but... while attempting to escort somebody breaking away they didn't want to be escorted they didn't want me holding their hand it's weird makes sense some people just don't want to hold my hand um people would be sad yes and and as this person was walking away from hand holding he threw his hands up in some sort of weird knotted form said something and then called me an M-bomb about, I don't know, 14 times in about 30 seconds. And it was a, it was a soft R or it was a G a G a, I guess. But as I'm looking at this person that didn't want to hold my hand, I'm looking at his hands and looking at my hand and they were the same color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like I mean okay yeah oh okay uh, sure please come back and hold my hand he didn't he didn't want to hold my hand uh listeners made says that uh, they don't have either of them in Virginia but I guess uh MS13 still exists which I think is also out here we have it we have all of them we have all of them though just we, the 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 southern version of MS13 shoes on big stocks of wheat yeah that's exactly yeah. <laughs> their, their weapon of choice is a double barrel shotgun or a fucking chopped. a musket <laughs> uh, I mean sure. yeah. uh, as long as I make myself now, laugh muskets. that's all that matters that's all that matters but uh, yeah so no get, yeah I mean look it's 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 uh, they, they still have those organizations out there they're not as prominent as always. i mean I, a couple weeks ago i saw my first low rider in a long time mm. you know which was like oh that's still a thing right it was hopping on their hydraulics it was you know 1985 whatever like it's one of those you, you know cars from the 80s um and yeah it was like oh there you go like that's still a thing you know the guy was in there with his bandana all tied up and everything i'm like Good on you. So I mean, it's you know, still out there, man. I I'm not as much. I'm not. I'm not. So you know, you know that L.A. look, the L.A. Vato look. Yeah, I'm very familiar. Like, yeah. and you mix that with like skaters. It, it's kind of meshing a little bit. It, the yeah, and the exactly. Yeah. And that's like the look I always kind of was like. I think I can mesh these two. I'm white as shit, but like, the so- the high socks and the shorts. I I think that's fresh. I like that look. The really long belt. That's that's I've had a really long belt my whole life. I like really long belts. 
I mean, that, that like older gang members dress that way too, right? Like that's kind of like yeah, that's why you're saying it's the mix of the the, the skater because the skater kind of does. He doesn't really do the long socks. Right. He does do like the the long shorts. Long least, shorts. Like, yep. Yeah. This is the long shorts, which I'm like they're pants, just more pants. You know the the um, checkered, the checkered button up. Oh yeah. Like I hate checkered stripes. Button-up. I don't care what vertical or horizontal i hate stripes but if you mix them put them together a, put them into yeah make a plaid out of them i'm or like a like a flannel or a plaid that kind of design i'll wear those all day i think those look awesome i've got like 10 in the closet over here uh listeners made also says that his part of the world is like new mexico in which MS-13 is involved with meth, but meth, mm. and is it blue? You know, <laughs> well, blue meth is the, is the good stuff. It's made of Smurfs. It's 90, 90% pure, according to Walter White of Breaking Bad fame. Yeah, well, this, one's, pure. this one's called Sleepy Smurf. <laughs> I do like the, the uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. anyway, yeah, there you go. So there you go, Thug Life, uh, as they say. Yeah, thug thug life uh, and and yeah, um, and wet and west side and all that stuff. Somebody else said something to the group that I was with, and said, "This is the north side." And I just went, Man, "That that doesn't that doesn't mean anything to me." But okay, no, I am. I know I'm north of the city. Thank you. <laughs> Technically, yes, this is the north side of the I city. Do. You are correct. Did he have? Did he have a hand sign for it too? Because like West Side has a hand sign, Blood has a hand sign. Yeah, hand sign. yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, a... I'm sure. I'm sure there was, but like, I wasn't looking. Is it just like N? Like N? <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's Which is not very intimidating because you don't have to twist your fingers around. Actually, you just they, go they, just, they just go north side. <laughs> uh, north side. North side. Word. Word. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what the north side. I don't know what any of the sides do. Um, I, that's that's not my that's not my bag. Um, nope, not mine, mine either. But yeah, uh, my 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 new job has me dealing with a lot of different interesting people. It's, it's like it is it is predominantly you know one kind of, you know, social level of people that I get to escort. But it is all levels of of society that do things in which they need to be escorted for. You really want to talk about this. We we, we could keep no. t- we could keep talking about no, this. It's, I mean, you you seem to want to well, it's just it's, you, you it's push it's, away and then you come back. And well, I'm it's cuz the the cuz the, the the crypt thing was all just kind of tied in. It was all just kind of tied okay. in. I just thought, you know, I'd be very happy to talk. No, about it. it's, it's saying. cool. It's good. It's just, it's fun. I, I mean, I, I wish I had, I wish I could show video of me escorting people, but you know, it's not really allowed. You can get those glasses with the, like the little camera. Hmm. <laughs> wait a second, Francis. You could be onto something. Get them Snapchat glasses. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well not those. Cause I then know. they go straight to Snapchat and all, you, all the, all the ladies sending you boobies are like, why are you sending me this video of you, you know, escorting Hol- people? Yeah. Holding hands. Holding hands. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's you're right. It's the honeymoon period. Just having a good time. It's exciting. It's new. Yes. Kermit the Frog, it, you know. Maybe it'll be different if I get punched in the face or something. But, you know. You're gonna, it's, you're gonna, it's gonna be like a like a battle scar that you're just like proud to show off. <laughs> I can't see because my button glasses are broke. Got a Velma situation going on over here, but you know. But then look, you can like you can buy yourself cool, like like uh, aviators, right? Like have like the really <laughs> tough cop cop glasses. So you're just like because I have prescription cop glasses. You know, I have prescription like. Um, like they, I mean, they're they're considered murder glasses because all murderers apparently wear these glasses. But also, but it has the bridge and everything, oh, right? Sure. It has like the, you know, 
the aviators, you know, got to wear the aviators. Right. But then I could choose. I try some... not to wear them on air because I don't want to look like a murderer. But go on. I could chew some gum and try to try to fuck Kelly McGinnis. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. You could do that as well. You know, flip off unnamed countrymen that are opposite of the country I'm I'm living in. In in surprisingly U.S. planes, but you know we'll gloss over that part. Top Gun reference, people. It's all right. It's all right. The enemy. Which I what, what, had some sound bite there from. Did Top you ever Gun. see Maverick? Yeah, it was fun. It was it wasn't good, but it was fun. I liked it a lot, actually. I liked it better than the first Top Gun, at least. I mean, that's that's fair. I mean, it didn't have a volleyball scene. It had a football scene, but it didn't have the volleyball scene, which kind of made it like they weren't playing with the boys. In, in all the attire to play volleyball on a beach, you decide to play in jeans. It's such a weird decision. Such That's a weird decision. At that time, though, that was like the look. Not even cut off jeans, just straight, you know, cowboy style jeans. They all tight and shit. Um, Look, you're, you're lucky they didn't wear just chaps and nothing else. And why the fuck was Tom, uh, Tom Cruise playing volleyball? Motherfucker's only like 5'1". Yeah. Well, in, in, in most movies, they try to make him look tall. They give him lifts and stuff. Right. right. Yeah, but, you know, he, he got no ups. They had no. to lower the net to show all them spikes he did. Look, he played, he played notoriously gigantic Jack Reacher. In the Jack Reacher movies, he's like Jack Reacher is like six five, three three hundred pounds, and you have Tom Cruise playing that character at like five six, a hunt a buck eighty, and he's like, "Hey, I can fight you." I'm the tough Jack Reacher, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, it, like I said, I, it was fun. If they make another one, mm -hmm. you know, I'll pop the yeah. the bag of popcorn and and munch on it and enjoy it for what it is. Good. No, well, I'm glad that'll happen at some point, at least. Uh, I think I think the the first just has more meat to it. No, well, you have goose. I mean, I mean you just there's yeah. like three different storylines in the first one, and yeah, in Maverick, it's just him reuniting with his long lost lover, the F14, and for some reason, Goose's son is there. Look at that. Ginger says Maverick was way better than Top Gun. Less romance and more action. Hmm. Which I, I mean, don't know. I mean, the, 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 Jennifer Connelly was in Maverick, and they were kind of romancy in that one. But, right. So. Uh, I don't know. I just I, Maverick kind of jumped the shark a couple too many times for me. Ah, no, it's all good. That's why it's I said it, it was fun. Just it's not very good. Like, right. I just think it's a long fucking, it's a deep cut. It's a deep, you have to be paying attention to subtle lines in the first movie to understand that that is the Admiral's daughter in Maverick. Okay, well, yeah, okay, yeah. That sure. is like, that is fucking like the sugar packet on the bottom of the table deep cut. <laughs> and I like that everyone except for Tom Cruise and that woman died or something. It, well, an ice man lived, sort of. Oh. But like everyone else is like, well, we're not going to ever bring. Back, oh. We're going to bring back Meg Ryan. Oh, uh, okay, right? I got you. I got you. We're not going to bring back like even. Well, we can't bring back Anthony Edwards because he he died. But like, we're just not going to bring these characters, like some of these characters, back. So don't worry about it. Just here's your. Mr. Strickland man. wasn't even back. Is Mr. Strickland still alive? Probably. I don't know. I don't know who's alive anymore. I mean, it's been a while. I'm like, look, I'm amazed Tom Cruise is still alive. He, but he's at what, like sixty something. So sure, Zeno keeps him alive. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> well, speaking of older people, Francis, um, sure. I was supposed to go uh, see the Transformers 40th anniversary celebration thing, and you saw like the anniversary last year or something, right? I did, or a couple of years ago. Yeah. It was, it played last year. I went to the 35th anniversary playing, mm. and then for some reason it played last summer as well. And then okay. this past weekend, it was only shown like for three days, only a few showings 
for, on those three days. But it was going to be a table read with some of the vo- original voice cast for the first three episodes. And then they were going to oh. play like the, the next three or four episodes. Just, reg- you know, show you the actual cartoon for the, you know, let's just say episodes four, five, and up to eight. I don't know how many episodes they showed. Sure. They showed some sort of a story arc. Uh, but I really wanted to go because table reads are cool. And it is, you know, seeing Frank Welker and Peter Cullen actually sit at a table and do the different voices would have been awesome to see. Unfortunately, work got in the way. And I couldn't go. So that sucks. Yeah, you have a job now that, like, doesn't, like, it's just whenever, you know. Uh, it, it's not like you have yeah. set designated weekends. Right. And, and, and people like to be escorted at all types of business operating hours. Every, I mean, that's not the only job that does that, though. I'm like, there's a ton of different jobs. Right, that right, right. <laughs> no, I understand that. that. I understand that. But, like, it, the, and, because well, they, I don't want to go back into the, that stuff too much, but like, yeah, it's just you got to have an open schedule to hold hands with people. Yeah. And as much as I like to have a set schedule and regular days off, I have to make a sacrifice to make adult money. Well, you have to be an adult to make adult money. And you have to deal with mostly adults when it comes to escorting people. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Silence. Silence. Uh, Silence. What's this about Danny Bonaduce? Uh, Parsons family. I'm... Yeah, Danny Bonaduce. Yeah, well, uh, what is it? Um, so He's got the a... Osmonds. The Osmonds are still alive, too. I always thought he had a cool <laughs> name. I don't know why he's a... a pop culture figure really but well, he did um he well he because he's the the son the, the the he was the cute son everyone liked in partridge family oh, okay he was, like the, he was the one he was like the dream boat of the partridge family and then he got old and ugly and then he did new uh, radio so he was a radio host for quite a few uh, years uh but a pariah mostly in hollywood and Uh, radio in general like he, he was pretty messed up in general but gotcha know. uh but yeah so anyway didn't get to go see the table read would have been cool no. g1 been. transformers is one of my favorite things out there so boohoo missed it but i'm sure it'll come around again some sort of transformer celebration will come around again and i'll go see the movie nothing i'll go see the movie that i own uh in th- three or yeah three different formats and like have multiple copies in each of those formats wait till 50th anyway once the 50th comes around then you know they're gonna start pulling people out they're gonna dig up the graves (laughs) of 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 peter cullen and you know they're just like i mean come on i know what 80 something he's he's 82 i would i think he just turned 82 Uh, they're gonna like 90s but yeah, knock on Orson Welles' coffin. Excuse me, Mr. Welles. By then, yeah, they'll be they'll have AI doing it all. Mm. AI of all of them talking. Uh, mm. There's that guy on the YouTube's and all over any social media that has a thirty or forty second, you know, thing. But uh, the the some guy that. Uh, I ruined it or something like that. They make songs that, it, but has like AI singing the song. Oh, Elvis, Elvis doing "Baby's Got Baby, Baby Got Back." Yeah, Ugh. yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Elvis, uh, ninety nine problems, but a bitch ain't one. Right, uh, Diddy. Right, or no, not Diddy. Um, I don't know. Anyway, why can't I think of the guy's name? Anyway, uh, no. Speaking of AI. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's pissed. Oh, sort of. Um, but like, like European pissed or American pissed? 
uh, American. Oh, okay. American. <laughs> She's not drunk. Okay. Um, <laughs> apparently, I, I read somewhere uh. that ChatGPT, I didn't read the whole thing, but ChatGPT mm. stole her voice a la the movie Her. So now, without her permission, if you ever talk to ChatGPT, and it sounds like Scarlett Johansson, they stole her voice and put it into the AI to mm. talk like her. I mean... She's got the she's got the vocal fry. That's why everyone wants it so bad because yeah. she has the the vocal, uh, like you know that that very gravelly yeah uh, voice. Yeah, I, so I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I hate I I'm not a big fan of AI. AI in some things is kind of nice to have when you can't think of what that thing is that's in front of you and nobody around you can figure out what it is. It's nice to pull your phone out and be like, Hey Google, what the fuck is, Oh, damn it. Phone. <laughs> uh, and be like, Hey phone, <laughs> what is this? And the phone will look at it and be like, Oh, well here it is. You know, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. auto correct. Technically AI. Sort of. I mean, it's just sort of, sort of, but I mean, I know it's a stretch, but I'm just going out of my ass here. Um, some of those things are, are nice. But, I mean, people want stuff to be replaced. Like, they want doctors to be replaced with AI. They want, like, people just want stuff to be replaced by AI in general. Have all these people not seen Terminator? Well, have they not? Easy. Have they not seen that movie that the fucking the Fresh Prince was in, whatever it was called? Um, oh yeah. Like, it's not I gonna. Robot. It's not gonna be by Centennial Man. <laughs> like, no, but I mean. <sighs> It does stuff already, right? Like, it does everything. Wendy's. Is it Wendy's? Yeah, Wendy's has a, a drive through AI voice now. So they, they have it. They take your order with an AI voice. So you don't talk to a person through a speaker. You talk to an AI at the window, at the little the screen. You go, I want a, a Frosty. And they're like, and it, it it'll it'll if if it can't hear you very well, it, it somehow still figures it out. Like, oh, you want a frosty? Okay. What size? Small. Okay, small. And you know, and they do everything. Who and the fuck gets a person. small frosty? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, if uh, you're gonna if you're gonna get a delicious chocolatey ice cream treat, you fuck it, you go for it. You get the large, man. Like. Mm. They have a they have a new flavor too. They have like creamsicle or something right now. It, it, they the always flavor. got that that rotating second flavor. Sometimes it's strawberry. Sometimes it's fucking cream cheese or something. It's banana orange pudding or something. Orange creamsicle. Yeah, yeah like, orange creamsicle is the current frosty flavor. And it, you know, diabetes are a possibility, listener mate, with with the with the with the frosty. Oh yeah, he understands. Yeah, he totally, understands. totally a possibility. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's uh. It, it should be an occasional thing, you know. I make it too regular to say it's an occasional thing, but you know, I haven't had it in a while. But I kind of want one now. You I mentioned might have one it, delivered. it. Well, I don't. I don't have the the money to do that, but there is one right down the road. Yeah, and there's not one near me. It's like five miles away, five or six. So it's gonna take me. A, a oh, half so an it's gonna hour. be like not partially, hour. you know, defrosted, melty when you get it. I like to refreeze them. Save them for when I'm ready for my dessert. No, but because it gets too frozen then. Not if you let it sit it on your desk. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't freeze it well, forever. Look. You just freeze it for a little. So it just kind of, so it's not all soupy. And if you're yeah, one of those weirdos that dips fries, good for you. Do you like Wendy's? Do you like Wendy's in general? I Do you like the Wendy's food in general? Hey, hey, Dave. I know you're dead. But hey, Dave. Sponsor us. I love the Wendy's. Okay, I was just curious because I like Wendy's I a lot even too. like I the just... chili, Francis. Well, the chili. Did you know the chili is just like the stuff that falls off the burger when they're making the burger? All those little bits. That's okay. Pieces. Whatever. I don't care. No, no, it's not bad. It's just like you, you know, it's not like it falls for... on the ground and they use it. But, you, yeah, every, you know, put enough crackers in it, it thickens it up, and then it's like real chili after that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, there's a uh, Wendy's has been like in a lot of trouble lately. Anyway. Mm. They, I, I opened up the Wendy's thing the other day to get me a delicious Frosty, along with some actual food. Well, actual, yes. in quotation marks, dink, dink. 
Uh, no, it's actual food. It's a right. square, but it's actual food. Uh, and the thing pops up right away. We, we have a lettuce shortage because the land of the lettuce is being grown in flooded. Yeah. And I don't. I, I didn't really think about it until I got home and, you know, just to make sure there was no fucking mayonnaise on my burger. And I was like, oh, there's no lettuce on here. I mean, I don't care. Not an essential part of the burger. But I was like, oh. There's no there's one bit of vegetable. Is, there's no the veg. Burger. There's no uh, there's pickle. I don't know what pickle. A tomato. If you're Oh, you don't get tomato. Though. I don't get tomato. I get ketchup, which is kinda like a tomato. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like yeah, a it's like yeah. a chew, it's a, it's like a chewed up tomato with some sugar and some other stuff. And you just spread it. It's like a pancake. This tomato also brings up Lister Maid also brings up that during the holidays, Wendy's does the eggnog frosties, which sounds gross, but I'll I'll trust that they know what they're doing with the eggnog frosties. I mean, eggnog is gross, period. It is. It is. I don't know why people like eggnog. It's really weird. It's thick and whippy and stuff. Oh, and Lister Maid, that was his first job, was working at a Wendy's. So there you go. Uh, I can I can appreciate that. I was not that way when I, I never worked for a fast food place. I worked at a movie theater, mm. and I was really I was able to go into movie theater right afterwards. I didn't care because I liked I loved it. That was my favorite job. And, uh, and you were talking about adult money. I just want to bring up that mm. I I was a supervisor, so I was a team lead, mm. and I was making a whopping seven dollars and fifty cents an hour. Oh, I was a team lead there, and, and it's just it's it's the kids won't understand, Francis. The kids won't understand. No. My my first like real, you know, over the table paying job, four twenty five was starting. And I was thankful. Would... I was thankful for that seventy five dollar paycheck or whatever the fuck it was, one hundred and fifty dollar paycheck. I was happy as hell. Yep. I was a teacher. My very first job was a teacher assistant at a co- at a college, and it was five bucks. Five, I think five bucks an hour or something like that. Just yeah. gra- uh, grading papers, I'm like all right, fun. Yeah, but uh, I mean that was uh, fine because everything costs like fucking a dollar. <laughs> it did. A Whopper was a buck. A, a Whopper is now six dollars, but a Whopper was yeah. a buck back then. Uh, a pack of cigarettes was like a dollar twenty-five. You know, I, I just saw at the grocery store the other day they're ten bucks a pack. Ten, yeah. yeah. I, I I couldn't I couldn't imagine what a carton cost i mean that's 20 packs whatever 20 times 10 is <laughs> uh, but well so uh that means then you know uh you get be- better currency in prison because the you know, there's uh, 10 packs the there's 10 packs cost. in the carton cigarettes cost more like they're worth more now in prison because of the amount it costs to get them yeah it's it's um, i mean it, the amount of people that Smoke. I don't know if it's actually dwindled or not. To be honest with you, because a lot of people they think, still quote unquote smoke. It's just vaping. Well, as I was saying uh, about some other things, how we're kind of like an upward downward swing. Oh, I think yeah, we're yeah, yeah. upward swing in smoking because uh, mm. people are stressed. So I'm I'm not surprised. <laughs> I They're get it because I get it, but like you know, yeah, cigarettes were you know that was it made me look cool. I thought I looked cool, you know, but. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was like okay, that was, that was a expensive thing to try and look cool. It wasn't really cool, and yeah, I stink. So, I mean, look, I I was talking to somebody the other day about how much I love because I, I grew up around it. I did I didn't smoke myself, mm-hmm. but I grew up around smokers, and I loved the smell of stale smoke. Like I loved the way a house smelled when it had that lingering it smell like of home. smoke. Yeah, it's very comforting, you know. It's cu- part of why I liked Vegas, because not only do I like Vegas because it's l- bright and shiny and there's a, a white castle, but because mm. there's also that layer of smoke that reminds me of home, like it mm-hmm. reminds me of my childhood. Uh, and then carrying, of course, having a smoke while drinking your eggnog with bourbon, as Ginger is saying, that's the secret to the eggnog, is you got to get that bourbon in there, so... I'll remember that next time I have some eggnogs. Get a shot of bourbon in there. That's what, that's what I wanted to get drunk while drinking a thick substance. 
There's something about that, but smoking is now considered cool again. Like they do that in movies and television shows where like smoking is what the is what like the cool person does. Like the cool villain usually. They're never good, but they're usually the cool right, villain right. smokes. You know? Or the 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 contemplative one, whoever, but like the one who's trying to do the work, they're the smoker and it's like a big deal because like oh, they're smoking. I, I, I think it's it's gonna be a thing again, I tell you. I mean, you know, cool, I guess. Whatever. You know, I'm not That's I, brand. I ain't one to say fucking you shouldn't be smoking nothing, being one that smokes a lot of weed, so you know. Yeah. Do do you do you and I'll be over here. I mean it was three it was four years ago. Five years ago now. Jesus Christ, it's been five years since I've been to Japan, but in Japan <laughs> every other person was smoking, so Oh like, yeah. Well I mean yeah, I I I could see that. I can totally see that. Yeah. I mean, it, different, different, different cultures, uh, things. Different don't, culture, no, true. Different, yeah. you know, the 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 health warnings aren't as strong or driven, perhaps in that country. I don't know. I don't know either. I can't read. There's no probably no pictures of cancered lungs and on Japanese cigarettes. No, no, they're too polite for that. Right. I mean, it, 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 it's super clean. It's super polite. But yeah. Definitely an adventure well, that we need to go on. That That is that is an adventure that has to, to happen. Yeah. It has we to need happen. To, to, we need to, to go and, and, yeah, we need to go and, and redeem the foreign uh, visitor, you know, the tourist, because, you know, they've had some pretty bad tourists lately so they yeah. need to be the good tourists they're 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 number one hated gaigen that is oh gaijin yeah Gai, gaijin yeah what did i say was that for, yeah i think so what did i Isn't say it? gaigen oh that's gaigen. A fu- that's a fucking that's a that's a godzilla enemy oh. kaiju that's a kaiju uh the, gaijin uh, mm-hmm. His brother, that boxer, quote unquote, boxer guy, just did his press mm-hmm. conference. Actually, that just pulled this out of my ass. Uh, just did his press conference with Mike Tyson on the upcoming. Oh God, yeah. The Logan upcoming Paul or whatever. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, for the um, the live fight on Netflix, which I'm still like, I don't. I almost don't even care about the fight. I'm going to watch it somehow. But uh, it's it, what's more mind-blowing to me is that Netflix is going to have a live pay-per-view level event. Oh, Logan Paul. Thank you, Mr. Main. I thought it was... Uh, yeah, it's Logan yeah, Paul. Paul. Yeah. yeah. It's just... It, it's amazing to me, this company that I saw representatives of or quote unquote representatives of in a Best Buy, mm-hmm. you know, 20 some odd years ago, begging me to sign up for their deal to rent movies to send in the mail when I'm standing in the DVD section of a Best Buy that I could just reach over and purchase a movie that I could rent it, and wait five up to two weeks, five days up to two weeks to, for, for a movie to show up when it's right here, it's $20. They're no. doing other live events too, other than the boxing match, right? They're doing live sports too, I think, right? Live I, I, I'm i not really aware of whatever else Netflix is doing because I don't have a Netflix account currently. Um, but I just, I think it's really cool for, I mean, th- that's kind of how this whole streaming fucking world has become. They are. But I, I just think it's really interesting that this essentially DVD rental upstart company or dot com company, whatever the fuck they were, or both apply, I guess, in that that sense. But yeah. yeah. Like it, this little tiny thing that was begging people to rent movies is now gonna stream a pay per view level event. I hate to tell you the I mean because they're 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 kinda they're kind of drowning, so you know they're doing everything they can to get people to to watch their stuff. So well, that's I, why they're I, trying to get the sporting live sporting events. Sure. They're trying to get the live stuff because you have to pay extra for that. Well, and the Logan Paul thing with 
the Mike Tyson, I mean, like you said, you're going to watch it. I'm totally going to watch Makes it. And in, yeah. in, 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 I, I don't wish harm on anybody, but damn, I can't wait to watch a 60-year-old beat the hell out of a 20-something-year-old or 30-something-year-old. Uh, what really? Listers May Listers May says Netflix is working with ham radio operators to live stream ham radio conventions to sell ham radio equipment. I I don't know how big ham radio equipment is to the grand scheme of the world, but if they are, that's cool. But I don't know how much they're gonna how much money they're gonna make out of that. That's like saying, hey, Netflix is gonna bring back Radio Shack or something. Like I don't know if that's gonna happen, but if that happens, cool, good for them. But man, Circuit City is on its way back. Yeah. Never know. I think Circuit City still exists as a website, but anyway. I mean, um, AOL still exists as a website. That's true. Yahoo's still a website. I bet you Ask Jeeves it, still exists as a It probably redirects you to Yahoo, but... No, I think it's just Ask.com now. I don't think he's... Oh. Yeah, Ask still exists. Yeah. What was another one? Dog... Dog something? What was the dog? Oh, one? dog... Well, Dogpile was dog. all of the ones. Okay. Or all the different... Dog pile still kind of exists. So it's a search engine. It's just a search engine. Okay. A really simple search engine. I'm really surprised it exists in all honesty, because who would who remembers dog pile and who uses dog pile? I mean, I clearly didn't I mean, totally you remember, remember it. it. I remember part of its part of its name. Or if, if Lyco still exists or Alta Vista, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> I mean BBS you know, they still exist. Oh, Lyco still exists. Uh, oh, wow. BBS still exists? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if they do. Maybe they do. Does, I'm sure does that, that still exist? Does who's what? Usenet, Usenet oh. was... Remember Usenet? They were like a bunch of bulletin boards. That, that the, the original internet were just a bunch of like... It looked like Craigslist. Just a bunch of bulletin boards with different topics and different locations. And... You would you would navigate it uh, like you would like Reddit now. Just mm-hmm. navigate it. There were no pictures, just words. Um, as a matter of fact, um, Tom Cruise used it in the first Mission Impossible movie to figure out the Job thing, mm-hmm. the, which was like the clue that the spy gave him about who the bad guy was. So, yeah, I, I, I was, used it in a movie, but yeah, the, using that. I was always a big fan of Fark. Mm. The, which was like Fark, I think, still exists. Reddit Lite before Reddit really the, took off, I guess. It's not news. It's Fark still here. It was, it was just one of those news aggregators, you know, the user-driven news aggregator with a sarcasm headline that the user that uploaded the link. You know, man, why don't we do this for the show? Okay, here, here's a, here, here you go. Here's an article that they have on the front page of FARC. We should use this for the show. The Dalai Lama once told an overweight cameraman he was in danger of becoming one with the universe. In other words, he told the cameraman he's going to die because he's mm. fat. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, let's see. You know, it seems like something, you know, Dolly would say. We're, we're on a face, first name uh, basis, you know. Yeah, so <laughs> Mr. Mr. Like, uh Yeah, Mr. Lama. Mr. Lama. Uh, I'm. Yeah, the news. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's still news groups that send you, that uh, you get through email. There's they're they're, they're called um, newsletter. They're just newsletters, man. Just go get a newsletter. How dare you? All right. Well, this is. Uh, did did you, did did you have anything? On, I thought you had stuff on the. I was trying words. to find as well when you, when you turn your phone on to figure out what the Dalai Lama's real name is, and then you know it's Dolly. It's, it's hello Dolly. I can't no, even. No, Dolly's a do, the Dalai Lama's a title. I don't know what. The yeah, name it's is. a. He's the fourteenth Dalai Lama, but his real name I can't. L H A M O. That's his first name. Are you really? Yeah. Oh yeah, Lamo Thundup. Thund okay. Actually, I guess he's Tenzin Gatso Ne Lamo Thundup. Yeah. Or his spiritual name, Jetson Jamfel Guan Wang. Uh, I feel like this is racist. I shouldn't be saying it. 
That's why I stopped. Uh, but well, I'm Asian, so I can say it because I am Asian. Sure. So uh, I feel that, comfortable. I feel comfortable. I got to see him speak one time. Yeah. I drove out to Utah of all places. Um, He's 88 years old. Yeah. So this was 20 years ago. Easily 20 years ago. What did you say? Uh, well, he said a lot of he said a lot of cool things, a lot of a lot of cool stories, a lot of fun stories. He's a funny person. Um, mm. He forgot the word the at the you know, towards the beginning of his monologue speech. Well, English thing. isn't his first language. It isn't so his first language. Sense. And he was speaking, yeah. and he just stopped, and he said, "Hang on." He walked away from the mic, and he went to one of his translators. And he came back to the microphone laughing, and he goes, I forgot the word the. And the whole crowd, you know, thought it was, I, I about pissed myself. I was laughing so hard. Oh, yeah. He's he's a funny guy. Like, he has a sense of humor. Oh, totally. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, learned about the, the Ponche Lama. Pa, yeah, Ponche Lama, which is like the next, supposed to be the next Dalai Lama. But the, oh. supposedly... The Chinese government obtained this this child that had been deemed the next Dalai Lama, and uh, I, I, I don't know. But I'm not I'm not part Filipino. There, listeners, mate. I'm I am all the way, uh, like a double rainbow. That's all, that's all I am. Uh, I have a little Spanish ancestry and a little Chinese ancestry. Well, I think I think less. don't all Filipinos have a little Spanish in them? Not necessarily. But I mean, I guess sort of. Yeah, sort <laughs> of. They did conquer. They conquered uh, the Philippines in like the 1800s. So yeah. Um, but like, I have a, a a descendant who's straight from straight up from Spain, and oh. I have a descendant like a, a grandfather, great grandfather is straight up from Spain, and a great grandfather is straight up from China. So I have some of that in me. But I'm Asian. I don't know. I don't. I know. I don't look it. I know. I know. Everyone thinks I'm Mexican, but I am Asian. And then people hear your voice, and they don't think they're like, "Oh, either look yeah. at this white guy over here." Yeah, I've been I've been mistaken for all sorts of races based on my voice. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, um. Yeah. I'm I'm curious if you if you were gonna come because I was like. I'm curious if you're going to go to the to the the Red Lobster story that you were wanted to talk about last week. No, I don't care anymore. Okay. Red Lobster's closing. I, it well, it it it's filing for bankruptcy, but the funny thing about it was it was because they gave people all you can eat shrimp, and they didn't realize that the that their audience is larger than usual and ate so much shrimp apparently they ate so much shrimp that they got bankrupt that's why they're bankrupt that's why they're in the position that they're in is that that and so, some other things but that was one of the factors was eating shrimp no more shrimp fest is what you're saying no more shrimp fest shrimp fest is not gonna be a thing anymore mm. which is fine yeah which i used is to fine eat all you can eat shrimp all the time so i get it the the, the scallop shrimp no nah. Do you like shrimp? I don't even know if you like shrimp. Do you like Shrimp's shrimp? Shrimp's good. I like, you know, the, the deep fried ones. Those are good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the the, go the ones that come in the cocktail cup. Like the, like, like they come the yeah, in the like a martini yeah. cup or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those, those are good. Those are good. Yeah. Uh, do I want shrimp flavored soup? No. Do I want shrimp in a sandwich? No. Uh... Ginger, not a fan of Red Lobster, calling it crap food. Oh, but, well, I mean, that's I, not, that's not a, a stretch by any means. I like, I actually like Red Lobster. <laughs> it's fine. I, I mean, like, like. I like their biscuits. I their knew you were going delicious. there. I knew you were going there. And, and it's because it's they put like the MSG or something in those things. Because yeah. cheese, cheese. cheese in, a, in a fucking, in batter is not that amazing, you know. I haven't seen anyone else do it and <laughs> well, do it well. That's what I'm okay, saying. Fair. That's what I'm saying. They, they like sprinkle the MSG or something. They do pour some crack on there. That's true. That's something. Uh, I, I can't even tell you the last time I went to a Red Lobster. And it, seafood, seafood in a landlocked state isn't something you really go for. Yeah, that's true. Unless I guess it's like I'm so close to smoked and packaged. 
You know, like, that's cool. But you have lakes. Yeah, full of the fishy ass fish. Yeah. I don't well, like fishy. I don't like fishy fish. Oh. Like cat uh, catfish is the fishiest yeah. of fish that I will get. Oh. I don't like catfish either. But it's a thing. It's a catfish is a thing, you know. Yeah. Trout. Yeah. Another thing everyone likes to eat is trout. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like salmon. Oh. Yeah, but salmon's an ocean fish, I think. It's not a lake. It's not a lake. Technically, it's, fish, it's, 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 a, fish. it's both. Is it both? Okay. Because they swim inland from the ocean. Upstream. They go back to the freshwater rivers they, they no, came from true. and then die in the waters they were born Why, in. Watch us be both be wrong. And it's like, no, it's salmon isn't, you know. Is salmon actually fish. fly. They're birds that transform into fucking fish. Oh, you were right. You were right. Fishes either live in freshwater or the ocean. So you're right. They're both. Yeah. I know. I know a few you're, things. You do know it. Well, I didn't doubt you, but I just wasn't. I just wanted to make oh, sure. sure. But yeah. Uh, so. like you know, <laughs> I I do like the fish sticks, you know, but those are just like tilapia. But it's the seasoning and the ketchup. <laughs> well, look, you and Ginger have very different tastes because. Ginger is very much about the catfish, the trout. The she's all about that base. Mm. No, don't ever say um, that again. Or bass. I'm sorry, it's bass. <laughs> bass. Um, I like bass. I like sea bass. I, I I had my first Chilean sea bass a few years ago, and it was very good. Mm. Uh, That's I, the, the expensive fish. The lady and I recently had a big old mountain of mussels, and that that was delicious. For, I like some, too. for some reason, like getting fish inland is weird to me, but like whatever the fuck a, the category of mussel is in, it's Shellfish. fine. It's fine to me, I guess. It's just they just sit and hang out. They just hang out on yeah. a rope for their whole life and just sit there. And then you eat them. And they come in their own canister. They have their own little little, little packaging. Exactly. And then when you drop yeah. the little the little mussel muscle fork on the floor you just use one of its shells to pop the rest of his friends open with yeah the, the, the muscle the muscle shell is multi-purpose have you ever had clams yeah not as much of a fan as cl- of clams as I am of muscle oyster uh, the only oyster I've had Francis has been in the form of, of, of a uh uh the fuck is that place called? I always call it butt cheeks. Hooters. Uh, Hooters <laughs> shot. Hooters has oysters? In their birthday shot, it's like tequila, Tabasco, and an oyster or something like that. Oh. <laughs> Tilapia is a poor man's catfish. Uh, y- sure. I mean, tilapia, yeah, tilapia, tilapia, is- tilapia is the most bland, tasteless thing on the planet. Which is why you want the most basic fish. That's tilapia. Yeah. Which is why every tilapia recipe calls for like dumping an entire forest worth of herbs or lemons and limes on top of it because otherwise it's just gonna taste like fire. <laughs> I guess. Have you had have you had swordfish? Yes. I I don't know what part of the swordfish I've had, but I I was also a child when I had it. So I couldn't I couldn't verify as an adult taste bud if I would enjoy it or not. Oh, apparently tilapia tastes like catfish. So if you ever want to know what catfish tastes like, I mean tilapia. It, with a, <laughs> I guess, I, I I just think it's bland as hell. I think catfish is like has the essential oil of fish dumped into it. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What What are your thoughts on crab legs? Uh, as long as you got like a rolling pin to fucking roll all the meat out of the out of the leg, as opposed to sitting there trying to suck it all out like a, some sort of peasant or something, then sure. Yes. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> There's a method to that madness. You don't need. Well, it's, not, they're not, it's not peasant food, even though I guess it is. I mean, it's less. It, it's less peasanty than fucking spaghetti is. <laughs> you 
He has spaghetti, man. Spaghetti. I, people love. I know you don't love spaghetti, but man, do people love spaghetti? They do. They do. And, and you and know I what? Love I'm that happy for them all. And if anybody invited me over to their house and they said we're having spaghetti tonight, I'd lick the plate clean because I don't have to eat it. It's not right. me at home being in the red and being why like. Why don't you go? But why don't you go the ramen route? Like every other poor college student who like has only five bucks to their name. Because unlike a poor college student, I am not 20 something years old. I'm 40 something years old and I have to protect my heart. Well, that's true. If you want like a gallon of salt. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Touche. I, I, I I bow to your, your wisdom on that one. I mean, that's not to say, you know, you can't just throw fucking noodles in some boiling water and hope it has flavor. Because let's face it, what is a noodle? It's flour and water that's solidified somehow. I don't know how fucking cooking works. Um, so, yeah, lobster. Yeah, lobster. Exactly. This is me. Lobster it was um, peasant food. Mm. And it, it wasn't just that the Queen of England tried some. Uh, the, the, the famous story, I guess, for it was... They need to feed uh, train passengers food, and so they marketed it as a luxury item on trains. Mm. And lobster used to be because it's considered the cockroach of the sea. I mean, it is and a very so close like, biological cousin to a cockroach, and it looks like one. Like there's yes. no denying yeah. it looks like a, it looks like a roach. Mm-hmm. Um, but people ate it, and you know, the, there was laws against eating too much of it because it was like considered punishment and like cruel. And now it's considered a delicacy because hmm. some company thought it'd be they're like out west. They don't know what this is. Let's just put it on the trains for the people going out west and they'll think it's fancy. And so they did. And, and they ate it as fancy food. I mean, it's I, I, I would say that it's luxurious enough that they make fake version of it. Yeah, there's yeah, fake, they, they do fake lobster, fake crab, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. I mean, and it comes in all different kinds of. They got chunk, they got flake, they got mm-hmm. sliced, they got diced. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's like the slap chop of fake crab meat. Good pull. Thank you. That, or slap. I don't know. Didn't he go to jail? He did for like. Beating up a prostitute or something like that, I think. <laughs> Vince from Vince from yeah, the Vince guy. He made a movie too. He also made a movie. But I think Vince, I think I remember uh, hearing something about it that it was like played in like one theater or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah yeah he beat up a prostitute. Yeah, I was right. He did beat he beat up a prostitute. He slap chopped a prostitute. That the, the the whole infomercial was a practice. <laughs> It was. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. It's a practice. That's funny. Uh, no. th- I remember during the pandemic, he was trying to sell Sham Wow face masks made of the I mean, material hey, of Sham Wow. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. The Germans love it. I mean. The story of the ShamWow is actually kind of cool. I guess he was at a flea market and some person, some small, tiny business was slinging these towels and he he just went in and scooped it and bought it up. I don't blame him, man. Now what, people still buy it? I mean, just like like the the Snuggie, it's like one of those items that people just get. I got one. They have one. Fucking great. I love it. When it gets really cold, I like to put it on, go get the mail. It's not a snuggie. What is it? I don't know what I got. A slank? Is it a slanket? It, it's some sort of a wearable blanket. Yes, I can't remember what it's yeah. called. Might be a slanket because the snuggie is a wearable blanket, but the slanket's like the other one. Yeah, the, the slanket's the one where it's like it's the just comfy. Arms. It's a comfy. Oh, the comfy. The comfy. It should be called a fucking. It's too hot to wear this, even when it's really cold outside. That thing is. That fake Sherpa stuff is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about the... 
Uh, where are we here? Yeah, we're good. Um, I was going to talk about the movie phone guy just because you and I were talking last week and talked about him. And, but Wait, we why are we going to talk about why are we going to talk about movie phone? Guy? Well, we were I talking about all kinds of stuff last week, just kind of catching up with life and whatnot instead of recording. Oh yeah, I did record yeah. stuff that we talked about, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I get it. And uh, at some point, we had talked about movie phone guy calling the movie phone yeah save it yeah. so we'll, we'll save it we'll save that for another time but uh i think it's gonna do it for this week um i'm gonna attempt to go get sleep that i didn't get last night because i was too jazzed from holding people's hands it's been a long time since i've escorted people and held their hands so i was yeah. really jazzed very, very sweet very and, sweet and very cute you know and, and and today I'm a little sore from all the hand holding I was doing the last four days. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of love I was trying to give out. And a lot of people just didn't want my love. God, I sound like a rapist. Um, <laughs> you sound like that guy from that song that you're all out of love. Or that other guy that chased a prostitute. Yeah. The, or the same the guy that. Top guy. Well, the same guy that stalked the girl and wrote a song about it. Oh, oh, was Sting? The yeah. police? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, they're the police. They can stalk people. That's the thing. Oh, good, good job. Good job there. <laughs> good job. I don't know why we're, we're protecting Sting, but I don't know. <laughs> we're just we're, we're we're getting loopy. It's the it's the end of the night. It's been a it's been a well, interesting it, few weeks, I guess. It's been an interesting few a decade and a half, two decades uh, since Sting came out and said that he practices tantric sex. I think if Sting would just come, maybe the world would you know fix itself. That was never going to happen. He's still waiting for that ultimate. He's going to die. That's how he's, that's how he dies. In a, nove- in a November that, that field, release is just gonna be like, you know, just gonna just his life will just leave his body because it was just euphoric. In a field in November. Yes, in a field in November. Yes. <laughs> I want no or or in his Dune like his Dune underwear from when he played that one guy in the TV movie Dune a version of Dune. Mm. Is that little tiny? He has that like weird. It's Flash Gordon underwear. Flash. Uh, yeah. So, please come, Sting. On the show or just, you know, in general. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's how old is he? Hold on. I got to know how Sting is. 65. Oh, 72. 72. Ah, damn. He's pretty old. That was, well... He's got to get around to it because, yeah, you just lose it, man. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll get there eventually. I was trying to pull another another song title, and I just, I, I don't, I'm not steeped enough in uh, Sting's cat, uh, catalog to be punny. Yeah, enough. well, the police, yeah, there's a lot. Rock, there's Roxanne, there's. Like, that's that's the first, that's the first reference I made. Chasing a prostitute. Yeah. yeah. But and then, and then stalking know. a chick. Yeah, I don't know what else he's saying. And then the, no, we the, shouldn't wait. No, we're we're, we're wrapping November, up. Let's November get, Fields or something like that. And that's why I made that reference. November Fields, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what that's. I don't even know if that's, oh, that's right. No, okay, don't stand so close to me. Yeah, right, right. That's that's. I don't know if that's the title, but yeah, that's the lyric, definitely. Yeah, um, well, that's because he farted. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, or because or it's because he's he, the tantric thing and he doesn't yeah, want people to get too close to him <laughs> he's, oh. he's gonna kill people with that it'd be like that episode of south park oh yeah, yeah. or if you a, know if or, you know you know there's also a scene in scary movie or if you know you know the first one, uh, first scary movie. I th- you see, I think maybe the f- one of the first three because it was the only three I watched. And it but was a scene where Ghostface, right? No, so it's one of the boyfriends. He's on the okay. bed. Okay. And the girl Anna Faris 
gets on top of him uh-huh. and it's his first time and he's so excited just shoots her up to the ceiling and just covers her in like just just keep shooting covering <laughs> her entire body oh uh, in yeah. what looks like marshmallow foam what a perfect time for someone to join us and and follow us hey! thank you thank you for following it? shady tread shady tread thank you shady tread what do you think that means francis shady tread that's what that's what we do here. We break down your name as you follow us. She, the I think it's a she maybe shady. Shady. Maybe. The the tread on your uh, on your tires is shady. Maybe or it sound it looks like it's spelled tre- treacle actually shady oh. treacle. C-L-E. Oh yeah, look at that. Or CL. Look at look, um, I, I don't know what. So a is. candy that is under uh umbrella because that's what treacle is is like a oh. hot, like a sweet like a candy oh well like it could candy. be a questionable chocolate then or a or, or a questionable chocolate <laughs> <one or the> <laughs> other. <laughs> i can't argue with that. that that's that's logic i can't argue with that. Uh, well, like, well thanks for joining us uh we are kind of finishing up yeah. for the day but you know what we're here every tuesday we'll try to be here every tuesday works the new work schedule is um interesting but we're gonna work around it we're going to figure it out, but we're basically here every Tuesday to hang out with you guys for an hour and some, sometimes longer than that, but we're here to hang out with you. Uh, Francis, where can people find you on the internets if they so choose to want to do that? Uh, I don't worry about the uh, websites or anything. Just go to at AKA the other guy on Twitter, Instagram, uh, blue sky, that's pretty much my name everywhere. Twitch, even if you want to just follow me on Twitch, I don't stream, but one day I will. I promise I will one day, but yeah. So go there. Uh, Francis did a lot better job at Synergy than uh, this side of the of the podcast because there were too many hands in the in the buckets at the beginning of this thing. And well, it's all thanks to our mutual friend Maria Duran, who was like. You need to be a, if you're going to be a brand, you have to name everything the one thing yes. that you're known for. And I'm like, oh, I better change everything. So I changed everything to the one name. So yeah. AK, the guy is now everything. Man, I just, I, I, I like a lot of things, you know, I listen to the advice and go, yeah, it's a great idea. And then I never implement it. Oh, whatever. Whatever. I like, I run the whole race and then I just fucking just pull off to the side right at the end for just like just about everything but I'm trying damn it I try uh, but you can find me at 303 underscore ninja on the Twitter 303 ninja on the Instagram you can call into the show text voicemail join us ha- hang out with us tell us give us a topic not tell us give us a topic don't tell us a topic we don't take orders here but you can do that 314-764-7631 Spells out POI pod one. Let's see. We're trying here. Uh, email at the POI podcast at gmail.com. Uh, and then uh, what, what else is there? Twitter. Uh, what is Twitter? Twitter is POI podcast. Everything else is POI podcast. Look it up. It's that or look up the POI podcast. I know. Laugh. If you really want to get desperate, look up points of interest because that's what POI stands for. That's the end of the song. I didn't time this very well, but we're done. We'll be back next week. See ya.